Hey everyone, and welcome to the channel. My name is Ash, and I'm here with a review of Reloaded on Steam. Now, this game was originally released back in 1996 for the MS-DOS and PlayStation platforms, and it's been ported over to PC on the 29th of June 2023. Now, it was originally developed by Gremlin Interactive, and it's published onto Steam via the Zoom Platform Media and Funbox Media Limited, who were kind of to send me a copy for this video review. Now, I've never played Reloaded until now, and this is a sequel to Loaded, which was another game in the franchise. Now, this is a top-down, multi-directional shooter, and... Yeah, it was originally released by and published by Interplay, and honestly, I've only recently seen this. I think it was announced as part of coming to the Antstream Arcade as well, so I was really looking forward to playing this. Now, this port is a very raw port. It plays exactly like the old game used to. It's running on a DOS, MS-DOS sort of DOS box style emulator. It's not had any sort of visual improvements bar working on like modern screens and stuff like that. That I can tell. Now, the game itself is pretty fun. It, it's it's never going to win awards, but it's pretty cool. So basically, the story follows on from the first game. So there was a bad guy in that called Fub, Fat Ugly Boy, and basically he escapes at the end of the first game with just his like brain basically he basically gets the rest of his body destroyed now he comes back with a new body and like new modifications and implants on himself and he becomes the monstrous villain named cheb so that stands for charming handsome erudite b starred <laughs> and basically um you are one of six former convicts who are set on ending his sort of evil reign so it's a weird little game it's like a 3d environment with like 2d sprites for the characters and the sort of attacks and stuff like that laid over the top it's a mix between 3d and 2d and it looks quite good like I say now the game features six different characters to play with and four of them are from the original loaded game so for anyone who's fans of it, they are Mama, Boonker, Butch, and Cap'n Hands. And there are two brand new characters, one called the Consumer and one called Sister Magpie, who is an android nun. So, the character Vox from the original game was removed from this game and it, it replaced with these two other characters. And basically... The game sees you running around a host of environments, blasting the hell out of enemies. So you have like up, down, left, right for your aiming to, sh to shoot in one of those directions. And you just blasting through a whole host of enemies. Now, there are 12 levels to play through in this game, which is more than the original. And overall, it's pretty good. Like I say, it'll... it'll be nice to see you play it for the first time if you've never played it before it's a nice sort of walk down memory lane it's not something you'll probably go back to a lot but it has like full 3d environments that enable lots of exploration now there's um loads of like high powered weaponry and explosives that morph the terrain as well which is cool especially for a game that came out in 1996 it's got a lot of violence and blood and stuff like that which is always cool like the blood splatters and stuff from the enemies remind me of like the older gta games and stuff like that where you used to just get the splodge on the floor when you ran people over and stuff like that and it also features local multiplayer as well which is pretty cool now i only managed to play this in a single player um my kids are a little bit too young to play this one unfortunately but i enjoyed my time there now now i've played through it will i go back to it on steam probably not i might play it on and stream in the future to see how that sort of runs it as well because i believe that's the ps1 version and the ps1 version had better graphics but a harder difficulty where the pc version looked a lot worse in terms of compared to the ps1 but it was a much easier game to play. 
Now, this game is priced at £8.50 on Steam. Like I say, it's available right now. Highly recommend it if you're into your, like retro games. I really enjoyed it. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to record at all. So I am having to show footage from David Plays PC Games. There was only like three people that had put any of footage of this game on YouTube on the PC version. It was all PlayStation footage I could find. So check out their channel. I'll put a link in the description. Um, but yeah, for some reason, when I tried to record it through my uh, OBS... It just black screened on me all the time. I don't know whether that's because it's running through MS DOS or like DOSBox, but it just I couldn't get it working. And like I say, I I, I didn't want to spend the time and effort redoing my entire setup just to record 10 minutes of footage for this review. Unfortunately, so this footage is the best I could find. Just show off what the game's like and stuff like that. Check it out. Really fun. Check their link out as well. Give them a subscribe. And check this game out. Like I say, I believe it might also be available on PlayStation through like the, the store, like the PlayStation version. But I've not had a look yet. If it is, maybe I'll review that as well. But hit that like button, hit subscribe. Let us know what you think of this game. Have you ever played it? What was the original loaded like? Because it's one of those games I've never had a chance to play. Should I go searching for it? Would you want to see me review it? You let me know. And if you do, I will do it for the channel, guys. But until next time, thank you very much for watching. Check out Reloaded. It's dumb, gory fun. Hit that like button, hit subscribe. We'll see you soon for more content. Bye for now.